Right, so we're going to transfer these bees, the nucleus hive, into your bigger box. Um, now this is just a standard Langstroth hive. This is pr pretty much exactly the same. It's an eight frame version if it's a flow hive. So it's exactly the same principle, flow hive, a regular hive. And I'll show you what we're gonna do. Now you will see in my other video, we've lit our smoker. Really super important. So get that nice cool smoke. We've got that correctly all ready to go. We need a hive tool because we need a hive tool to transfer it over. So we're gonna show you to do. Now, obviously you're gonna be wearing protective clothing because it's gonna make you feel nice and confident. Make sure before you jump in and uh, transfer these bees over, a couple of nice big deep breaths on a nice sunny day, anywhere between 20 to 30 degrees with no crazy changes in weather coming. Super important. Um, ideally, you wanna see nice blue skies. A little bit of clouds, okay, but not thick dark clouds. And make sure you're in the right frame of mind. There's no hurry to get them from here in the nucleus hive into there. Ideally, one to two weeks. So what we've done, we've had these, um, these bees. They've been in position for a little while. Um, it was about 10 days. And what we're gonna do is a nice, beautiful day today. It's above 20 degrees, and we're gonna transfer them from here into the bigger box. Get everything ready, smoke is ready. Now what we do is we make sure we've got our hive. Now, this is an eight frame box. So we're going from a five frame nucleus hive into an eight frame box. So what we do now is we get our frames ready. I prefer using waxed sheets of um, frames because the reason is it gives the correct bee space. If you've got your flow hive, you can go foundationless, put them on the side, make sure little starter strip, rub it with a bit of beeswax, but I highly recommend you either wire them up or buy some that's pre-wired and waxed because this is, it gives that correct foundation for the bees to work on because we're gonna do inspections, um, which we have to do, you know, um, legally speaking, twice a year, but gonna do them more regularly for a swarm management point of view and, you know, pest and disease uh, management just to make sure they're going good. So what we do is we've, um, we're all suited up. Um, now, a couple of nice big puffs in the entrance. One, two. Now that just lets the guards know. What we do is then we're gonna undo the clips. Undo there, and then just everything's nice gentle movements. We open up the lid and just give a nice couple of big one, two, three. And what you can do, because we don't want to squash any bees, what I like to do is use a hive tool and just put it like that. Now, wait about a good 30 to 60 seconds before we open them up, because we've got to allow that smoke to work. It's got to go through them. It's got to calm the bees. So that's um, really, really important. Make sure you're nice and calm. So wait about, as I said, 30 to 60 seconds, and then we're going to transfer these bees over. Now, if this is your first time doing it, it's a pretty daunting process. Don't stress. As I said, not too much can go wrong. Just go nice and slow, and you want to work with the bees. You're going to be wearing gloves. You're going to be wearing a suit. I've been doing this for a long time, so don't copy me, just to make sure, because obviously bee stings do hurt, um, but you'll go nice and nice and slow. So there's about our 30 seconds, and there we're gonna open, look at that. There are lots and lots of bees in here. Now you can see here there's some on the lid, and I'm gonna show you what we do here. What we do is you're gonna do the inspection. Now some of this on here, this is burr comb, right? If you want to, you can actually clean that off. Uh, don't squash any bees, use your hive tool. To, to do that, um, keep this wax and you can render that down, um, which we'll talk about in another video, but you can, or you can actually leave it. It's sort of, everyone's different as to what they want to do there. <laughs> as crazy as that, it depends on your star sign. If you're really uh, fussy and want it nice and clean, to me, I think a bit of bird comb is fine. Um, and then what you do is, now make sure, don't use too much smoke. People go, oh, I've got to use lots of smoke, don't. If you want, just like that. Now in theory, we shouldn't need to use our smoker again. So what we're gonna do is we have gotta start from the outside, use our hive tool to push those away because it's gonna be a bit of propolis and everything's sort of stuck together with propolis and beeswax, right? And then you lift our first frame up um, and just go nice and slow. Now just go up slow, straight up. Don't drag it because what'll happen is we don't wanna squash any bees. So we do our first like that. And we can see that's a nice big full frame of honey. So which we'll see that in your nucleus hive. And then we pop, pop that in. There, and then we do our next frame. Now, 
don't have a good look you know what i mean do your inspection sort of see what's going on here you can see there's plenty of plenty of brood um there that's our brood what we can see there the queen's laying eggs don't stress if you don't find the queen you know what i mean because it's you know she's fine to, it's, she's hard to find and it's going to be you know there's all our all our larvae there so they're really building up really good so don't stress you know what i mean your, your idea is you know we want to get these this first time is a big experience we're going to learn down the track when we do our inspections so don't stress about if you don't find the queen because we know that she's in there if you go nice and slow just to make sure we don't squash any you can see there you know once again nice nice frame of brood sometimes the queen can be she's only a little bit bigger she could be sort of hiding in there somewhere. So, as I said, don't worry if you don't find her. Our objective is with this video is to get these bees from the smaller box into the bigger box. And at a later stage, what we'll do, we'll do another video, we'll talk about doing inspections, what to look for when you're doing the inspection. Look at that, lots of bees there. Good number of bees, which is, uh, which is really, really good. And we're going to pop those into there. And then we've got one, one more, our last frame. Oh, look at that, that sun's beautiful. That sun's coming out. Last frame there. I'm going to pop that into there. Now, what we want to do now is make sure, and super important, if it's an eight or a 10 frame box, push all these together nice and gently so they're all touching. These little lugs are touching. Then what we do, we're going to put our lid on. Put our lid on like that. Now, if you've got a strap or a brick, um, if your fly hive has got a gable roof, put that inner cover on and put your gable roof on top. Now what we've got, we've got obviously all these bees, right? So this is very important. What we want to do is we want to shake the bees out in front of the hive, so in front of the entrance. So what we want to do is one nice quick bang just in front of the entrance and that'll get those bees out and, and then they'll walk, walk their way in. See that there? You know, the bees are all nearly gone and we do the same with the box we, we want all the bees out and shake them now it's important we move this box right more than five meters away and the reason why we do that is because you know if we put that nucleus box there they recognize that as home this is now their new home and it's within it's within um, a meter of our original position. So that's super important. And you can see those bees there. You're gonna start going to the box and we leave them settle. My recommendation is leave them settle for about 10, 14 days before we do our inspection. Just allow them to get back in, you know, clean up any mess that we've made and they can uh, work, work their magic and start the queen can lay more eggs and, and do her thing. And then we can do our inspections. And um, there we go. It's a nice, super, easy process.